Elvis Presley, the undisputed king of rock and roll, lived a life of luxury that extended far beyond his iconic Graceland mansion. As his star rose to unparalleled heights, Elvis indulged in a mode of travel befitting his royal status, a fleet of private jets that became legendary in their own right. With the recent buzz surrounding the Elvis biopic, interest in all aspects of the king's life has surged, including his fascinating fleet of private aircraft. At the heart of Elvis's aerial armada was the crown jewel, the Lisa Marie. This Convair 880, purchased in 1975 for a cool quarter million dollars, wasn't just any private plane, it was a flying mansion. Elvis spared no expense in transforming this former Delta Airlines workhorse into a palace in the sky. Over six months and nearly a million dollars later, the Lisa Marie emerged as a testament to Elvis's larger-than-life persona. Step aboard the Lisa Marie, and you'd find yourself in a world of Elvis-approved opulence. Gold-plated seat belts gleamed in the cabin light, while suede sofas invited passengers to relax in style. The plane boasted amenities that were cutting-edge for its time, including a sky-to-ground phone and an advanced quadraphonic stereo system. From the master bedroom to the conference room, every inch of the Lisa Marie screamed luxury. The exterior, while less ostentatious, proudly displayed Elvis's TCB, taking care of business logo, an American flag-inspired tail design. But the King's fleet didn't stop there. While waiting for the Lisa Marie's renovations, Elvis acquired the Hound Dog II, a Lockheed Jetstar that became his interim chariot. Though smaller, it was no less luxurious, featuring a similarly lavish interior that mirrored Elvis's distinctive taste. The Hound Dog II, despite its hefty price tag of $900,000, quickly became an essential part of Elvis Presley Airways. In 1976, Elvis added a third jet to his collection, another Lockheed Jetstar. This final addition to the fleet boasted an even more impressive interior, with pink velvet seats, plush carpets, and striking woodwork. However, this jet would see the least use before Elvis's untimely passing in 1977. Even after Elvis left the building for the last time, his private jets continued to capture the public's imagination. The Lisa Marie and Hound Dog 2 found a new home at Graceland, becoming popular attractions for fans eager to experience a taste of how the king traveled in style. The third jet, however, faced a different fate. Abandoned in the New Mexico desert for decades before being auctioned off to an anonymous bidder for a staggering $430,000. Today, Elvis's private jets stand as a testament to his enduring legacy and larger-than-life persona. They offer a glimpse into the world of a man who not only revolutionized music, but also redefined what it meant to travel like a king. As fans continue to flock to Graceland, the allure of Elvis's flying fleet remains as strong as ever, proving that even in the afterlife, the king still knows how to draw a crowd.